Hey everybody, I'm Chanel Hernan for the new Music Buzz and right now we're at the Paley Center for the season three premiere of From Dusk Till Dawn. The red carpet is about to start, so let's check it out. Not so long ago, Los Hermanos Gecko were looking for El Rey. We were trying to get to heaven. If you believe in heaven, Mr. Gecko, I suggest you start to believe in hell because it is coming. This is war. We have no idea what's coming next. If we're going to survive this, we need all the help we can get. I'll take my chances. It's going to be hell on Earth, boys. Hell on Earth. Yeah, we go send these things back to hell. Okay, so I watched the trailer for season three. There's a lot of blood and scary faces. What has the response been so far from the first two episodes? Uh, so far, from what I've seen, Everyone's loving it. I mean, it's a whole other level this season. It was, it's always been gory, and it's always been suspenseful, but season three's amped. And uh, I'm a completely different character this season. I'm a bit more bloody. I'm a bit more uh, nefarious. So this season is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And what do you enjoy most about filming a horror? I mean, on set, it's obviously not as scary, but it really must be fun getting into quite a deep and scary character yourself compared to the previous case. Yeah, I mean, well, in the last few seasons, I was the one being scared, and now yeah. this time I'm the one that gets to inflict the pain on people. It's awesome, you know? Everything comes full circle, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, that's what's so amazing about working on this show is the gore is by Greg Nicotero. I mean, he is the master of gore, Walking Dead. And so everything you see this season is made by his team. And uh, just be prepared. There's some bloody good monsters. Bloody good. <laughs> bloody good. You're a new character in this series. Were you a fan of the film before you were a part of the series now? I actually was. I'm, I've been a fan of Robert Rodriguez's work for a long time. The way that he is able to bring archetypes into life things that deep that live deep inside of us and bring them onto a stage where they have a life and a voice and they're walking around really creates a dualistic reality in your world where you wonder like how are monsters created how how do people become monsters this is kind of like going into the opposite world of all of that and seeing these things happening in the real world it's like a comic book feel in that way and he's always been able to do that you know in a very linear kind of way now i was actually watching the trailer for season three and there was a lot of blood and scary faces and almost like a war what was it like being on set with the cast there was a lot of fake blood there's a lot of fake blood going on a lot of lights and a lot of special effects the cast is great the cast you know they're all pros they're used to this they're used to robert they're used to the entire environment um me being new to this i was able to see these guys in their environment and they were so welcoming i really felt a part of it from very early on i was very comfortable with them they were very good about that I have something in common. What's that? I'm the only other battle where we beat the labyrinth. Well, doesn't that make you special? Maybe. No such thing as special. And now you're involved until dusk till dawn. You're the bad guy. Tell me a little bit more about your character. Well, my character is called the Regulator, and. Uh, he doesn't negotiate, he just regulates. And when you when you see him, you know people are gonna be deceased, you know. And what I love about him is that he if he eats your ears, then he hears everything you've heard. If he eats your tongue, he knows everything you say. If he eats your eyes, he sees what you so it's like this de demonic kind of guy that that, that kind of like relishes in 
in what he does, you know. Wow. Yeah. And, and you always seem to play the bad guy. Do you enjoy being that guy, <laughs> that bad guy? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. The good guy, the good guy, it's, well, like, the bad guy can do anything he wants. His range is... He good, can eat your eyes. Yeah, the good guy... <laughs> Can't say bad words and has to drink milk. Yeah. <laughs> sure, I play Florinda, and Florinda's one of the sort of assistant slash assassin chicks that works with the Gecko Brothers. And um, she gets possessed by the Skull Keeper. I got to work with Joe Gatt. He's so an awesome actor. Um, so it was really enjoyable experience. Yes, and now this season the Gecko Brothers are back together. As a fan, what can we expect? I would keep your eyes open for some kick-ass action as usual. You know the show, right? Some gore some blood, some guts, some sexy, the whole nine yards. Congratulations on season three. What was the shooting process like? Because I know that's always intense compared to post and pre-production. It is intense. It's suddenly like a very long marathon that goes, you know, 18, 19 hours a day and you just don't stop, you know, especially, you know, for everybody involved. For us, it, it involves uh, still writing some of the show and some of the episodes that are coming at the same time that we're involved in, in the pre-production and, and prepping part of it at the same time that we're actually actually shooting uh, an episode and then we're getting into post-production for the next so once we're in production it's pretty much a non-stop dash for sure yeah now back to season three what can we expect in this season I know the Gecko brothers are back together and Kate has a completely different character so what can we expect indeed I mean season two kind of ended on a big uh, cliffhanger and uh, nobody really knew what was gonna happen with Kate she seemed like she might be on her way out this year we bring her back but we bring her back not at all as herself uh, in essence uh, the Gecko brothers are back together and everybody thinks that uh, the Things are good. How are you? You want to hop in there, Seeger, as you're touching him. <laughs> it's just me. This man's allowed to touch me. We've been through enough. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, you know, in essence, the Gecko Brothers are working back together, but life is not at all as they expected it. There's a huge new threat in town. And this year we got to lean a lot more into the horror aspects of the kind of grindhouse uh, genre and, and of the movie. Uh, Robert had a pretty, pretty clear directive that he wanted us to, uh, to veer in that direction, and it allowed us to do incredible things. So. If you want to see extended interviews from the cast of From Dust Till Dawn, check out the newmusicbuzz.com. Hi, my name is Madison Davenport. I'm Maurice Compton. This is Danny Trejo, and you've just been buzzed. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye.